A couple of injuries up front means some rejigging of the Welsh pack. Theo Pabakwa at loose head. Brand new second row pairing of Joe Peard and Rhys Thomas. And fly half Sam Costello returns to the starting 15. His Pro 14 experience will be needed to steady the ship that has rocked quite heavily in the last two games. As for England, well, they've made three changes to the 15 that started against Ireland. Lando Bailey returns at fullback, wing Tom Roebuck, starts his first game of the Championship. And there's a newcomer at Lucet. Finn Baxter wins his first under 20s cap. Good. Next door to the Principality Stadium. And England are one step away from the Triple Crown. And immediately there's a penalty to the Welsh. A real early start for points on the board. Sam Costello would have sat on the bench last weekend, frustrated to have seen Wales throw away a victory. And he started with purpose. Alex Grove, South African born, been so influential in the lineouts okay, for England. Forward, and this topsy is where this Time's Simon on. White can be so dangerous. Absolutely, it's been a very potent weapon for them all through this tournament, no, no doubt. Again tonight, more. They'll be thinking opportunities like this, five meters out. And here we go, there's a sense of Jordan. inevitability, look at that! Inches short. So it's an opportunity to regather, rearrange. Riley burrowing away, he's short. Still they come! And the power is too much. Three minutes on the clock, and England once again go direct, and once again they get their award. The more get stopped, but they re-go again. It's so difficult to stop when you're that close to your line. Defenders have to have their, land, their hands behind the line, so it's so difficult to make an aggressive shot in those positions. If this was the NFL, they'd be going to their playbook. And the playbook that works nine times out of ten. Keep it up, Red. Don't change it. The backs are in. The forwards are already there. And the try is given. How about that? How about that? And how do you stop it? That's the question. Brilliant, brilliant play. Nice and low at the back. Really controlled, really good drills. Worked on time and time again in training. And England crash over for their second score. And Riley gets yet another one. He's given That's good. the word to his centres. If he gets the ball. They'll go for something. And they do get to use some space. Big hit in midfield by Evan Daniel. Karen Tupiloto looks to slow things down. Illegally so, taken quickly. And there's nobody going to stop. Van Portfleet. Welsh defence napping. Third try. And that was clinical. Get the ball moving, don't wait for the defence to get set, goes right through the heart of them, they can't touch him or it's a guaranteed yellow card and has to sidestep the post as well on his way there, but it's just lovely work from <laughs> Van Port, please. <laughs> just one more defender to step on his way to scoring. Well, England have popped their card into this cash machine time and time again. And more often than not, every time they do it, it comes to fruition. Plan A didn't work. Now it's the, an opportunity to regather, replan, reassess, but stick with the power of the forwards. Round the corner comes Richards. He's that Go short. Line. Now they put width on the play. And it's a walk in. It's a walk in on the far side. Relton with a try. England with a bonus point. Clinical. They carry there right into the heart. You can hear the call coming for Van Portfleet to spread it out the back. Miss pass, and it's a walk in for Relton. Too easy when you got the extra man and you're that close to the try line. It's just numbers game. Heads up, find the space, get the ball there and execute and give your wingers nice run in in the corner. As things stand, Step off, Red. England Red. have Red. the triple crown, the Stop. championship. Step off is more or less Good served night. on the plate and if they beat Italy the Grand Slam will be theirs too 
grows so often the foundation of England's positive play and Riley no busy as ever five tries in this championship it's there it's there you pulled him over Clement who's been quiet in this game but if anything he's not needed to do too much holes everywhere in the Welsh defence no no Wales are creaking and England are swinging and England, England are hitting and England are celebrating they're running away with this one turns a 4v4 into a 3v2 on the outside and it's lovely there by Lancaster good line by Relton and then he has the strength to reach out and fit Hold! Stay up, stay up. Okay, use it! Out he goes. Direct from Roebuck. Simple stuff from England. But effective stuff from England. There's no doubt about it now. The triple crown is in the bag. Pretty sure they've scored more times than they haven't. And again, in the end, all a bit too easy. That pressure just keeps coming, keeps coming. Two phases is all it took. England back to fight. the tribe and trusted the rolling mall and it's fitting that this game ends with a pattern of play that's been so punishing for Wales with that rolling mall five meters out great drills all around brilliantly executed and even when they get knocked backwards the ability to spin to keep that composure runaway train down that blind side there Merrigan crashes over, you're not stopping him with that much momentum and England sign off with another five pointer couple of days recovery now and they know all eyes are on that final game huge prize at the end of it if they get things right, but it's been a great performance by them, emptied the bench as well huge experience, everybody getting a shot full credit to them for the performance, it's been great and that's it Final whistle blows. England completely deserve their victory. By far the better side. One more point and they'll win the Six Nations at the 20th Championship. Victory against Italy and they'll be Grand Slam champions.